Chapter 1 In the spring of 1847, the little village of Ruralville was thrown into a state of excitement by the landing of a strange brig in the harbor. It carried no flag, and no name was painted on its side, and everything about it was such as would excite suspicion. It was from Tripoli, Africa, and the captain was named Manuel Ruello. The excitement increased, however, when John Griggs, the magnate of the village, suddenly disappeared from his home. This was the night of October 4th. On October 5th, the brig left. Chapter 2 It was eight bells on the U.S. frigate Constitution when Commander Farragut sighted a strange brig to the westward. It carried no flag, and no name was painted on its side, and everything about it was such as would excite suspicion. On hailing, it put up the pirate's flag. Farragut ordered a gun fired, and no sooner did he fire than the pirate ship gave them a broadside when the fight was over. Commander Farragut missed one man named Henry F. Johns. Chapter 3 It was summer on the island of Madagascar, and natives were picking corn, when one cried, Companions! I sight a ship, with no flag, and with no name printed on the side, and when everything about it such as would excite suspicion. And the natives fled in all directions when they came together on the other side of the island. One was missing. His name was Dahabea. Chapter 4 at length it was decided something must be done. Notes were compared. Three abductions were found to have taken place. The disappearance of John Griggs, Henry John, and Dahabea were recalled. Finally, advertisements were issued offering $5,000 rewards for the capture of Manuel Ruello, ship prisoners, and crew. When the exciting news reached London, an unknown brig with no name was wrecked on the, of the Florida Keys in America. Chapter 5 the people hurried to Florida, and beheld, a steel spindle-shaped object lay placidly on the water beside the shattered wreck of the brig. A submarine boat, shouted one. Yes, shouted another. The mystery is cleared, said a wise-looking old man. In the excitement of the fight, they launch the submarine boat and take as many as they wish, unseen, and... John Brown has disappeared, shouted a voice from the deck. Sure enough, John Brown was gone. Chapter 6 the finding of the submarine boat and the disappearance of John Brown caused renewed excitement among the people. A new discovery was made. In relating this discovery, it was necessary to relate geographical fact. At the North Pole, there is supposed to exist a vast continent composed of volcanic soil. A portion is open to travelers and explorers, but it is barren and unfruitful, and thus absolutely impassable. It is called No Man's Land. Chapter 7 In the extreme southern part of No Man's Land, there was found a wharf and a hut, and every sign of former human habitation. A rusty door plate was nailed to the hut, inscribed in Old English, M. Ruello. This then was the home of Michael Ruello. The house brought to light a notebook belonging to John Griggs in the log of the Constitution taken from Henry Johns, and the Madagascar Reaper belonged to Dehabia. Chapter 8 When about to leave, they observed a spring on the side of the hut. They pressed it. A hole appeared in the side of the hut, which they promptly entered. They were in a subterranean ca cavern. The beach ran down to the edge of a black, murky sea. On the sea lay a dark, oblong object. Another submarine boat which they entered. There bound to the cabin floor lay Griggs, Johns, and Dehabia, all alive and well. They went arriving in London separated, Griggs going to Ruralville, Johns to the Constitution, and Dehabia to Madagascar. Chapter 9. But the mystery of John Brown lay still unsolved, so they kept strict watch over the port at No Man's Land, hoping the submarine boat would arrive. At length, however, it did arrive, bearing with it John Brown. They fixed upon the 5th of October for the attack. They ranged along the shore and formed bodies. Finally, one by one, the, they, and headed by Manuel Ruello, the pirates left the boat. They were, to their astonishment, met by rapid fire. Chapter 10. Conclusion. The pirates were at length defeated, and a search was made for Brown. At length, he, the aforesaid Brown, was found. John Gregg was royally received at Ruralville. Dehabea was made king of Madagascar, and Manuel Ruello was executed at Newgate Prison. The End